On the complex plane, sometimes called the Argon diagram, this point at coordinates 3, 4 has a real part, 3, and an imaginary part, 4. It represents the complex number 3 plus 4i. It can be expressed in polar rather than Cartesian coordinates, and to do this we need to find the magnitude of this arrow, r, and the size of this angle, theta. Pythagoras' theorem gives us the magnitude of r as the square root of 4 squared plus 3 squared, so r has magnitude 5. What about its direction? In other words, how big is theta? The tangent of the angle theta is 4 over 3, giving a value of theta of 53.1 degrees, rounded to three significant figures. So on the two-dimensional complex plane, we can specify the point in question either with this pair of quantities or with this pair of quantities. We can go further. Just like the components of a vector, we can express this number 3 as 5 cos 53.1 degrees. And this 4i is the same as 5 sine 53.1 degrees, lots of i. Here is the relationship written in full with the corresponding parts in matching colours. We can factorise 5 from the right hand side to give this, and this is just a specific case of this general relationship. A complex number can be expressed in Cartesian coordinates on the complex plane, or in polar coordinates in terms of its magnitude and the angle it makes with the real axis. You're going to see later that expressing complex numbers in polar form is incredibly useful in science.